Okay, got my track ace. I'm ready to do some tracking. All right, roughly get the correct distance of this laser from the offside tire. <coughs> We're using this to measure. Okay, next set up. Make sure this is level as level on the near side. I'm using the rim of the tire because it's impossible to set it on the metal rim. Buy the lasers up to the center of the mirror. I'm going to take this mirror forward until you get some sort of laser on the uh, target there. Now I'm expecting this to be way off because uh, I set the both the track ends to be the original before uh, before I changed the uh, steering. So let's have a look now. Grab the back of that, rotate it, slowly pivot it, I mean, until you hit the zero. Alright, spot on zero, you see that? So that'll be toe in, toe out. Then, grab the mirror again. Place the mirror now on the off side. Last thing to get your track in. Make sure that's level, it's level, same place on the rim. Now I did choose this rubber tyre rim because if I was to choose that, it would be quite difficult. There's no real proper rim on this metal. I'm pretty sure that it would be kind of equal anyway um, if I chose the rubber. So, last thing, there's my unit there. As I rotate the mirror downwards, careful not to change anything. Right, don't really come out of alignment and it's going to be way off it's so much it won't even appear probably oh, here it is see that so this car should be zero toe for a Ford Mondale and we're on toe out 35 minutes Look at the steering wheel, that's how it is when it's straight. So looking at that, I'm on toe out, I need to bring it toe in. Probably have to work this one out. If it's towing out, I need to bring it more toe in. So my thinking is, get this one, bring, bring this front end on the uh, near side, the left side inwards then you'll have less toe in and uh, in that case the steering will still be off so I'll have to do a little calculation I'll put the calculation in the video uh, so I'll have to probably have to change both sides I can't do it off the top of my head though so this is the one I'm really trying to move and then I'm going to try and move that center and pretend there's a, a gear pinion from the steering column and I'm trying to move the center the steering wheels over that way so I'm going to try and pretend and move the center of that steering when it meets the uh, rack that way all right and that should rotate this rotate this back yeah it should okay I'll do the calculation and I'll carry on Okay, I'll recheck the car and there was quite a strong pull to the left. So it's pulling to the left and uh, the steering is definitely banked over the to the left as well. And the, and the uh, tow out was 35 minutes. So uh, my thinking is to change the left wheel to push that, to rotate that uh, inwards. So that would get rid of, hopefully, get rid of some of this, pull to the left, and uh, reduce this toe out. All right, so well, I forgot to mention, uh, make sure your tyres are pumped out. My, one of my tyres just kind of went down, 
but it's from my uh, wild check recheck it will as long as I pumped it up now um, so this one to correct the toe so to do this job left side if that's the uh, the bar that fits into the track end then you're gonna have to unscrew that if you unscrew it you'll push that one out that way and that one over that way so that'll be uh, negative negative one and a half do nothing to the right now for the steering it takes quite a lot to shift it over so I'm gonna move it the same kind of amount one and a half we'll see how it goes I'll probably have to redo this pretend is a sits on some sort of gear pinion thing moves to the left trying to move the center to the left to straighten steering so in that case um, moving to the left on this side I'll be screwing it inwards so that'll be a positive there's my positive one and a half on the opposite side these two numbers must be the same whether you do to that side do the same then it, there will be no difference on this side I am uh, unscrewing it so that will push everything to the left helping with that so the same would be negative one and a half add these two together zero and these two negative one and a half so screw out the driver's side or the off side by one and a half that's my tactic we'll see how it is sounds country working on slope you see the nice heavy bricks on the wheels like so not that one because I'm working on that one. Alright. So I'm on the slope, take it up, put the jack stands. Oh I'm going to loosen the wheel for it. I'm loosen that nut. Alright. Give me a little tape there, very cool. Cracked open. Take a little flip off. Wise, big one up. I should turn the wheel, shouldn't I? Really, yes, I should turn the wheel. Done it all, and uh, it's on near enough zero. So bottom red dot. Um, so what I did was 